Hi there and welcome. As you can see, I'm on a google.com doc. And let me show you how I got here. If I hover over the icon, it'll say vids home. Now, let me go back to Google Drive and show you where this came from. If you go into new, which is what I'm doing right now, you can um, create Google Docs, uh, Google Sheets, Google Slides, and Google Forms, of course, and Google Vids. Now, if you don't see it, you'll need to go into more and click on it so that it's uh, set up here in your menu. Let's go back. What you do is you click on it and you get this. Let me show you so that you see it in real time. Click on it, go to Google Vids, and you will see this. You click on one of these, upload, record, templates, help me. And as you can see, this is actually Gemini. And it's a way for you to create your videos. Now, I'm not going to go for this. Let me uh, close that. And I've already created, notice I gave it a title, my own doc. Notice what you can do here. You can play it once you start it. You can share it the old way and uh, make it accessible by anyone who has the link and not restricted. Now, right now, notice it's private and only to me, but you can do that at the end. Notice everything else is like a regular Google Doc. Okay, there's the file, the edit, view, insert, and you can insert various things, the format, everything except for scene. Now that's different. Here you can go into different styles. I suggest you take a look at this and, um, and try it out. Next, you can arrange things that's familiar. Tools are familiar, of course. So everything else is familiar. Notice what's on the right here. Help me create an image that's uh, AI generated templates and other information and the recording, the same recording that you saw before on Gemini and scripts that I showed you before. So there are things in multiple places. You can go into plus here and create a new scene. So right now, notice it's like a slide. There's only one scene and you can add images for your scenes or get help, of course, in setting that up. Go into templates and choose one of these, which I'm not going to go into. You can get shapes and stock media. OK, where you can even get music and play it. Notice there's some videos from stock media. Isn't it amazing? And this is all by Google. Uh, Google is getting a lot better uh, and really fast because the competition is definitely on. Um, let me go into the plus here again. New scene here and new scene there. So there are multiple places and, and that's great. You can also search the menus if you click on that. Spell check, that's also nice. And vids home. If I click on vids home, guess where it takes me to? There we go. Into um, everything that I have. All right, so this one, um, share audio and video files. Here, let me share this with you. All right, so I have 10 minutes to do this. Let me get started. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can share audio and video file links with Google Drive. First thing you need to do is to upload a new file, whether audio or video, from your computer. Next, you're going to go into share and share with anyone who has the link. Now, notice this is only one minute and seven uh, seconds. I gave it a title, as you can see. Well, you can also go into fit, notice, um, and get the size, different size. Let's just make it fit into our page. This, of course, depends on your desktop and the size. You can also show timing, which I think is important if you want to time it. And, okay, show timing for selected. What else can you do here? Well, I think that's it. The only thing to do is actually to share it. 
Again, the play here or here. There are two places for it. All right, so that was. Let's go back to what we have today. In order to find what we have today, we go back into Vid's home. There we are. And this is what I started today. Click on it. Notice I don't have anything on it. It's just a blank. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add an image. Let's uh, create an image. And the image is um, online learning in a futuristic class. Okay, let's create. Now you can also add a style here, photography. Um, you can see I'm feeling lucky. Cyberpunk. Okay, let's go with um, fiber, cyberpunk. Now this may take a few seconds. According to this, it's 20 seconds. And here it comes. Okay, kind of dark for my taste, but um, that's fine. Okay, so um, there it is. We may just pull it a bit, but that's up to you. So actually what you're doing is you're creating slides. Okay, and um, let's go on to the next one. Right, we're going to uh, continue with the scenes. We're going to go to, let's see what else is available here, um, templates. All right, so let's try, um, I think I've used this one before somewhere else, um, but I think this one looks nice, this one. Okay, so we can add insert all scenes, and then this one, that's it. Okay, this will still be there. I think that um, I'll get rid of this, actually, and um, use only this. Click on the right so that I can uh, delete this. Go into delete, and it's gone. So it wasn't difficult. And here we are. Here we'll change the font to whatever suits us. So we can call it online. No, actually, we're ChatGPT, so uh, we'll call it ChatGPT search engine, right? Search engine. Okay, so we've got something we can also uh, notice. Uh, make the background smaller. We can make this larger. Oh, we've got the date there, but we can make this larger. Okay, so we're on our way actually to uh, changing things. We can make this even bigger and then just have that. As a background, we can um, move this around. Notice only the blue. And then we'll have to move the writing. Okay, to go with it. But we can have another background, of course. Uh, change the color. Okay, there we go. Uh, we've got... So a lot of, you know, change replace color and uh, we can do that as well. Right, so let's get to the recording. Um, that's one way, okay, so where we have uh, the scenes and we record. We go into record, recording, we can have our camera open, screen and camera, or just screen or voiceover, okay, if we've got a video or a scene, um, which is a video scene. Okay, so there we go into um, whatever we want to do, whether it's a window, entire Chrome, and allow. Okay, I always do allow every time. Okay, there I am. I can move that around. And um, next we're going to go into uh, ChatGPT search that I have open. You might want to have things open. And there we are. There's the screen. Notice here, stop sharing. Okay, and um, we don't have to have our webcam, but we could if we want. Let's close that up. 
So here we are. I, I wanted to show you, um, but let me start the recording, okay, because I haven't started. Notice I have 10 minutes uh, for the screen recording or any other recording. Click on that, and here we go. Hi, everyone, and welcome to an amazing search engine called ChatGPT. And here it is. Notice in the chat, you simply need to click on search and then ask whatever you want to ask for. Uh, in this case, uh, let's look for uh, Google Vid. Okay, Google Vid, which is the video that I'm using. Go into search and let's see what we get. So notice the information here. Let me move. There's the information here, The Verge, Google Lens. Okay, a lot of things. Let's go into sources again. And there's a YouTube on it. I'm not sure if this is the one, um, but it could be Google Videos Search. That's not what I was looking for. I was looking for Create Videos. Okay, or yeah, Create Videos with Google. Okay, let's see what I get now. Okay, there's the search. Going to go into the arrow pointing up. Notice it's in light blue. Okay, which make, there it is, Google Vids. Okay, now I got the right one. I think I wasn't in the right. Now you really have to know whether you're on ChatGPT search or not. You're only on it if it's blue. So it has to be blue. Make sure that you don't undo the search. That said, let me know if you have any questions about vids. Uh, but before we go, let me stop this. All right, so notice if I click on it, it's a pause and I actually want to stop sharing. So let me go into stop sharing, but I'll go into this first. Stop sharing. Okay, and then notice uh, there's nothing here. And this is very typical. How do you troubleshoot something like this? Let's go into the preview and here it is. Okay, let me play it. Hi everyone and welcome to... So don't worry when that happens. Now, what are you going to do with this? That's the question. Well, go into insert and that's where it's going to be. Remember in your vid because you are screen sharing into this. Next, of course, you'll go into share and share it with the world. You can also play it from here. Hi everyone and welcome to... Let me stop that. You can also go back into this one and now we're into a new one. So make sure you're in the right place. So how do we get back? Okay, that's a question. Okay, we want to get back and we're still here. So let's get back to vid. If you've lost it and you haven't gone back, back, back into vid, because apparently that's the only way you go into your home for vids and then you can go back into ChatGPT, which is what I created. And notice I've got other things here. Remember, I also added other things. So if you want to get rid of all of these, which I do because I actually wanted to create a video and this was only there to share with you. So you're going to have to go through each of these. Okay, let's uh, go through each. And there are a lot of them. So the only way is to take as many as you can, but don't lift your finger off and then go into <laughs> delete and they'll be deleted. Lift your finger. You'll only have one. I think I've done it. I think I've got everything off. Great. All right. So what's left here? Record yourself. Generate the voiceover. Okay. This is different from this one, which is over the scripts in case you were wondering this is on the right you can add comments or you can share it so others can add comments on it if you share it uh, with comments let's go into share under share you will see restricted you open that up anyone with the link now you can copy the link and you're done if i go into my browser window which i will do right now, there i paste it into my browser window and now anyone can see it. Again, if you go into file, there's new video open. So it's just like uh, Google Docs, Google Slides and so on. Make a copy entire video selected scenes because remember it's based on scene. Share again also from here, not just at the top 
right now you can also and this is very important download as an mp4 so you can share it elsewhere uh, you can upload it to youtube or vimeo completely free you can export to your drive and then share it after you share it again um, as available to anyone who has the link and then you can use generico in your moodle course and simply paste it and it'll be available right there. Rename it, move it, add shortcut, move to trash version history. Isn't this absolutely amazing? Now, this I really love. You can change the language. And that's it, folks. Um, let me know what you think. I know it might have confused you, but I think the only way to learn is actually to do your own video. Just walk yourself through it. You don't have to share it with anyone. And then um, you'll get ideas. And you'll definitely learn uh, where everything is. So thank you for watching. <music>